Did you just see somebody? Where? I did. <coughs> Got him. Oh, I do nice see shot. one. I lied. It's Rashala. He's dead. What's going on, guys? Today we're talking about the RFB. How to mod it, if it's worth it, and how it stacks up against the competition. The RFB is a bullpup in 308 available from Peacekeeper Loyalty Level 2 for $548. It takes all SA-58 or foul mags except the drum mags. This makes 30 rounders your best bet, which are also available at Peacekeeper, but you need loyalty level 4. 20 rounders do the job well enough if you don't have Peacekeeper loyalty level 4 because the 30 rounders are selling really high in the flea market right now. I wouldn't really recommend running an RFB unless you have high level traders and M61 or M62 available already anyways. The RFB comes out of the box with some really high recoil and the ergo just isn't that great. Given that you can buy an MDR from the flea market for 60 to 70k and it goes full auto with comparable stats, I'd stay away from the RFB until people get bored of the shiny new loadouts. I'm confident the price will drop quite a bit once the flea market gets used to the new guns and you can make a decent budget build around the RFB. My builds focus mainly on recoil reduction as most 308 builds do. I have a suppressed and loud version, but I have all the other info on attachments included if you are running a Frankenstein build from parts that you already have in your stash. As with most bullpups, the modding is really simple. You can throw on an RK2 for max recoil reductions, a scope, and a muzzle device. You need the RFB spacer for $21 to put on a muzzle device. The EOTech Voodoo is usually my go-to, but the eye relief is terrible, so I've been throwing on mostly Valdez. I don't usually run hammers, but I've also heard about eye relief problems with those as well. When it comes to the muzzle, I'd go with a Thunderbeast setup for a suppressor. It has the best recoil reduction per ruble at minus 9% recoil, and it costs about 30k rubles for the muzzle break and suppressor. If you want to run the best there is, I'd go with the Daniel Defense Wave Suppressor and Muzzle Break for a total of 60k rubles. Your best budget option for a loud build is the Shrewd Muzzle Break. I prefer the Blast Mitigation Device Setup, which includes an A3 adapter, a DGN762B, and the Blast Mitigation Device, costing around 23k rubles total. This brings your total suppressed to 140k, and unsuppressed to around 125k. Pretty expensive for what it offers, and I think the MDR is better for the price right now. Us, However, and, uh, when people get used to the new I gun, I can see the RFB the going for 30 to 40k each on the flea market, considering oh, well. that the MDR is going for half of what it sells for from a dealer. He's this means you could build one for around 100k, which is much more reasonable in my opinion. If you're looking to run top of the line guns with best in slot, stats, I would stay away from this gun, especially if you're considering putting M993 in it, or Daniel Defense and Hybrid 46 Suppressors, you're just going to be throwing money away. I'd probably run an SA-58 instead. So there you have it. My two favorite builds are definitely the Budget Thunder Beast Suppressor, as well as the Blast Mitigation Device setup if I'm going to run loud. I do think that the RFB has some shortcomings. I find it really annoying. I can't run a light or a laser on this gun, and running the Valde with it, it just, like, those mid-short-range engagements where they're too far to hip fire, but you can't get accurate shots without a lighter backup sight. I, I find that to be the biggest downfall of the gun besides its price right now. I really think that it could use a little ergo buff and the recoil is a little bit excessive. I know 308 has been super overpowered in Tarkov before, so I understand why it is in the place it's at, but I wouldn't mind seeing a few points boosted to each ergo and recoil. If you want some really in-depth modding information, I did make a spreadsheet that has all the parts broken up by their dealer level, how much they cost, and how much recoil and ergo they offer, as well as broken down by recoil per ruble. I'm not really super big on the ergo build with this gun, but I do like some budget recoil builds. So feel free to screenshot this. We'll come back to the video later. You can also click the link in the description if you want to add it to your drive. I also have links to my Discord, Facebook, and Twitch. You can come by, ask me any questions, or just enjoy me dying and occasionally getting a kill. I finally worked out this blue screen of death thing. Hopefully I'm back to live streaming more, making memes, and killing PMCs. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you next time.